Assalamu alaikum good morning students hope you all are fine now let's start our lecture open your book countdown book 3 page number 10 write date on the top left corner of the page then write class word on the center of the page now here we have five digit numbers and their names Sara has written the names of five digit numbers. We have five digit numbers. Write them according to their place value chart. Started from ones, tens, hundred, thousand and ten thousand. In the first one we have sixty one thousand. One is written under Thousands place value so and six is written under ten thousand place value so pronounce it as sixty one thousand two is written under the hundreds place value so two hundred and thirty four sixty one thousand two hundred and thirty four. Now we have seven eight eight one five. Seven is written in the ten thousand place value, and eight is written under the thousand place value. So we have seventy eight thousand, right? Seventy eight thousand eight hundred one tens and five ones. So one tens and five ones it means. We have fifteen, seventy-eight thousand eight hundred and fifteen. In the next, we have thirty-six thousand two hundred and seven, and seven because in the tens we have zero. We have no number. We have zero number. So. Read it as seven thirty-six thousand two hundred and seven. Now we have ninety thousand five hundred and sixty. In the next, we have eighty thousand. And seventy one in hundreds place value we have zero digit, so read it as eighty thousand and seventy one. Next one is twenty one thousand and fifty nine. Again we have zero in hundreds place value, so we can read it as twenty one thousand and fifty nine. Now, below you have to do practice of these numbers. Write names of these numbers that are written below. You can see these numbers and their place value chart in part A. Four is written under the ten thousand place value, and five is written under the Thousands place value two is written under the hundreds place value three as tens place value and four at ones place value. So you so you can write this as forty five thousand two hundred thirty four. In B, say ninety eight thousand. Zero hundred. So directly read that seventeen as seventeen ninety eight thousand and seventeen. In C, you have to write or read as six at ten thousand place value, and in thousand place value we have zero. So read it as sixty, sixty thousand six hundred 
and 66. Alright. Do all the parts same as I told you. Now move to the next page. Page number 11. Here we have question number 2. First write again date and classwork on the top of the page. Now read the question. Question number 2. Write the number that matches each name. You have to write the numbers that matches their names. At first, we have the example 65,321. 65,000. 65,000 means you have to write 6 in 10,000's place value, 5 in 1,000's place value, 300. So, 300 means you have to write 3 in 100's place value and 21. 21 means 2 will be written at 10's place value and 1 will be written in 1's place value. Do all the parts by yourself. Alright. Now move to the question number 3. In question number 3, write these numbers in 10,000s, 1000s, 100s, 10s and 1s. You have to do, you have to write these numbers in 10,000's place value, 1,000's place value, 100's, 10's and 1's. Alright. In the first part, part A, we have 71,342. You have to write it as 7. 7 will be written as 10,000 place value. So, you have to write 7 as 7 ten thousands one one will be written as one thousand three hundred four tens two ones now in part b we have fifty six thousand and thirteen so you have to write five as ten thousand six as six thousand 0 as 100. In 100's place value we have 0. So you have to write 0, 100. 1 tens and 3 ones. In part C we have 94,608. You have to write 9 as 9 ten thousands 4 thousand six hundred zero tens and eight ones all right do the all the remaining parts by yourself all right now move to the next page page number 12 here we have four digit numbers and their place value. As we learned in our, play, uh, in our previous lecture about four digit numbers and their place value. So move to the next page, page number 13. Let's practice us. Okay, let us practice these numbers. So... In the first question, look at the following four digit numbers. One of the digit has been circled. Write its value and draw beads on the beckles to show the value. You have to write the place value of the circled digit and also draw beads on their place value on a beckles. Right? 
in part a we have six digit which was circled so you have to write the place value of the circle digit six the place value of circle digit six is hundred so you have to write it as six hundred and draw six beads on the abacus in hundreds place value right in part b the circle digit is or the ring digit is nine so the place value of nine according to the place value chart is thousand so you have to write in words as nine thousand and draw beads on a backers nine you have to draw nine beads in part c the circle digit is two and according to the place value chart it will be written as two tens you have to write it as two tens now draw beads on the packets in tens place value do part d by yourself now move to the question number two write the value of the circle digit again you have to write the place value of the circle digit in part a the circle digit is 9 and its place value is 9 tenths you have to write it as 9 tenths or 90 all right in part b the circle digit is 4 and 4 place value is unit or ones so you have to write it as four ones or four now do all the remaining parts by yourself all right that's all take care of yourself thank you so much allah hafiz